We are the Pilot Showcase, and this is Groovy TV. This is Groovy. I'm here with the Wild Showcase here at the Roxy Theater here in Denver, Colorado. How the hell are you, gentlemen? We are Good. Good. Are you louder than this train? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> what the fuck? No way. Inconvenient. Really? This is bullshit. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> and we're almost back. We're halfway back. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. So you guys are open up for Smile Empty Soul tonight. How freaking awesome. You're like main support. That's freaking badass. Oh, we're stoked, man. We're really, really excited. Smile Empty Soul has been one of my favorite bands since they started. And so when we found out uh, we were going to be on the show, we were jumping up and down. Good news. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's fucking awesome. So what are you, what are you working on now? What's going on? Uh, we just, we've been rehearsing a lot, um, obviously, you know, we've been doing some more writing, uh, we're getting ready to go into Mad Hatter Studios with our buddy Roger Foster. Love Roger, down the rabbit hole, and uh, a couple other ones I can't think of. Yeah, right, yeah. Adam's Ruin, of course, yeah. Ruin, yep. yeah. Um, so yeah, he's going to be uh, uh, kind of producing along with us, uh, self produce and we're going to throw out a, a six-song EP. Nice. Um, projecting beginning of the summer, but um, uh, we're excited about it. We're Give me a 48-hour window. A 40 a f <laughs> A 48-hour window. Uh, uh, let's say from May 31st. Is that a day? May, sure. May have no, it's May 32nd to June. Yeah. May. I'll tell you what, you pay for it, and we'll give you a 48-hour window. Yeah, there, yeah right. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'd say, you know, uh, May 31st, uh, uh, first week of June. Nice. Is the best bet. Nice. Yeah. nice. Now, you, you have some uh, other amazing shows coming up, I take it? We do. Uh, we are going to be at Herman's Hideaway, okay. um, classic Denver venue, uh, mm -hmm. Friday, April 11th. Okay. Um, uh, that's going to be an awesome show, and then we are also going to be at the Summit, okay. uh, May twenty third, Friday, May twenty third. And that's going to be a huge show. Yeah, we're no excited about that one. Yeah. No fair fights. Yeah, um, that's going to be an all ages show, so we're Sweet. we're really looking forward to that. Sweet. Yeah. So all right. so no one who's ever heard you before describe yourself. We yourselves, are, your band, not not how your face looks. We are epically loud. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop making me laugh, Groovy. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> um, uh, you know what, man? We're just uh, big, giant rock, new rock, modern rock, radio rock. Mm -hmm. um, um, we're we're kind of dramatic. I don't yeah. know how else to put it. Yeah. You got a big fucking sound. Like your sound is right. like boom, right. it's boom those, big. It's those eight string guitars. <laughs> These guys' hands can low barely. down sexy. <laughs> low, down, <laughs> low down sexy. That's right. And those eight strings do it. Uh, the six do it, but the uh, the added two they kind of help. <laughs> <laughs> That's the turning it to eleven for your band. We, we make jokes all the time. We got three bass players in our band. <laughs> yeah. and, um, so nice, nice. <laughs> all right. So uh, was there any uh, anything else with the with the album coming out? We should talk about like producer wise or anything or you know what we're self producing it man oh, um, nice. we've we've all uh, you know kind of veterans of the Denver scene and been playing music for a long time and wanted to take on the venture ourselves and obviously Roger's gonna be putting in his two cents uh -huh. um, a great songwriter um, he's uh, got a one talented gentleman oh yeah uh, really really good ear and uh, you know which is why we decided to keep it local and keep it in the family and mm -hmm. and um, go that route so and what about tours uh, nothing yet. Right now, we just want to blast into the Denver scene, and uh, um, you know, we're we're uh, getting everybody uh, on the web updated mm -hmm. and informed about us, and and just going there. Um, definitely in the future, yeah, we want to for sure. Nice. Um, and if you haven't heard of these guys, they're freaking awesome, and they're, like I said, huge like motherfuckers. I paid him sixty dollars. Not hu not huge like this, but huge <laughs> in sound. He just made a hundred bucks off us. Well, me and the Groovy fuck? are huge. <laughs> <laughs> We're sexy bitches. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, so the 2014 survey question for all bands coming through town and your band as well, because you rule. I like it. Is what is the stupidest thing you've ever heard another human being say ever, except for me, of course. Can we start on that end? Uh, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, probably uh, Tommy's wife let me know that his sex name in bed is Lexington. Shit. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. Will you be my friend if you give me a cream pie? That's this guy right here. Where's the poop? Um, we were walking around and we knew someone pooped somewhere. And we weren't 100 percent sure where, and it was kind of dark. So my friend was just like, "Where's the poop?" Where's and, the poop? You can and smell it. yeah, you could smell it for sure. What do you think, Mikey? I can smell the poop sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and that was uh, that was the story too. So <laughs> the poop is here. <laughs> I have no idea. I have heard a lot of people say a lot of really stupid shit. I mean, whoops, sorry. No, and uh, I usually, uh, you know, I usually just face it out. So I'll probably hit you with something later. Check my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> the Facebook that was the stupidest thing. Oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty. Right there, man. <laughs> that was pretty bad, man. I don't know. Did you have the mic upside News down? Is that what happened with? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I, I think uh, for me it was the stupidest thing that, that a few human beings didn't say. Okay. And that was the uh, uh, the Fox News crew in the morning's reaction to that picture oh. of a giant. Oh. Did you see that? Classic. Did you see that? It, it, that the, 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 right. Like, it was like here's here's the accident. You can see some smoke coming out over here. That looks like Edward Scissorhands. I don't know. That looks like an omelet. And. <laughs> Dude, that thing was giant too. Yeah, he was packed. Right, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, so I, the silence was incredible, and I thought it was awesome how they all kind of kept their cool throughout that whole thing. Yeah, except you know. the lady that was like. <laughs> right, right. Like, <laughs> anyway, yeah. That is one of my favorite Denver stories ever, was that one right there. So, nice. yeah. Nice. Thank you, sir. And by the way, this is my birthday, and this is my birthday show. So, birthday how, many sh how many shots am I getting? Too many. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to ask that question? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's with the Violet Showcase here at the Roxy in Denver. Rock on! Check these guys out. They fucking rule. Bye-bye.